Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and in this video I wanted to show you how to get a different wallpaper on each page of your springboard, which is your home screen. So, usually, without even any mods or theming or customization, you have a plain black background. Then, when you install a theme, or most themes, and if you follow my other video, you can get a wallpaper, but it is the same thing for all the pages. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get a different picture for each page of your springboard. So as you can see here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, pages on my springboard. I think, I used to think the maximum was nine, but apparently not. I was just testing it out. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to get a different wallpaper on each page of your springboard. The only things you're going to need is a jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone on any firmware starting with the earliest 2.x firmwares to the latest 3.x firmwares. And you will need Winterboard, which is a package from Cydia that most jailbroken users will have. If you don't already have Winterboard, you can download that from Cydia. And then the last thing you'll need is the knowledge of how to SSH. If you do not know how to SSH, I will put a video in the description that will show you a detailed video on how to SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone. Once you have all three of those things done, we can go on to our computer. Once you are on your computer, we're going to need to create a new folder on our desktop. We can do this by right-clicking on our desktop, left-clicking on New, or we can just hover our mouse over New, actually. And we'll wait for my uh, computer to load up. And then you just click on Folder. And you can actually name this folder whatever you want. I've created a folder right here, and it's called Multi Background. You can name this whatever you want. It really does not matter. Once you have that blank folder created, or empty folder, I should say, I want to take you to the link in the description. This is an awesome site for downloading wallpapers that have the perfect size for your iPod Touch or iPhone. It is siphone.net forward slash wallpapers. You've probably seen this in my uh, earlier videos. And you'll be taken to these list of categories for all kinds of wallpapers for your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now, this website has a great selection of wallpapers, and you can choose any of them you want. So, you want to choose however many images you have um, on however many pages you have on your springboard. So, like I said before, I have six pages on my iPod Touch or iPhone's home screen, so I would want to save six pictures from this site. So all you have to do is click on any category. Uh, I'm in the mood for cars today, so we'll click on cars. And then all we have to do is click on the image that we want. I'm just going to go for the first one for simplicity's sake. Okay, and once we're taken to this screen where we have the image, all we want to do is right click on it. Click Save Image As, and we want to open up that folder that we created on our desktop. So as you can see, I'm already at the desktop, and all I want to do is uh, double click inside that folder that I created, and then I can just click the Save button. Once you've saved that image and as many other pictures as you have pages on your iPod Touch or iPhone, sorry if it sounds a little confusing, but anyways, once you have all your pictures saved into that folder, we can open that folder up. Now it's just loading up. <clears throat> and now we have the six images that I saved uh, for the six pages that I have on my springboard. Now, the names and the formats that we save these images uh, in are not uh, compatible with our iPod Touch or iPhone. So we're going to need to rename and reformat these, but it's really easy. So for the image that we want on the first page of our springboard, we want to right click on it. and click rename. We want to rename this capital P, lowercase a, lowercase g, and lowercase e, then the number zero, dot png. Now most of the images that you'll get from this website that I recommended will be in a dot jpg format. All I want to do is delete what's there and type in the letters p and g. Click outside the image and when it asks us to change, we're obviously going to click yes. Now, for the image that we want on our second page, we're going to right click on that, click rename again, 
And we want to rename the picture to capital P, lowercase a, lowercase g, and lowercase e, 1.png. So again, we're going to delete what's there and type in png. Yes, again. Now I think you've kind of got the pattern of what these images are being named as. They all end in png, and they are the same name except for the number. Uh, which is one more than the previous one. So it goes in ascending order. So I'm sure you guys can guess what this image is going to be. We're going to rename it. And it's going to be capital P, lowercase a, lowercase g, lowercase e, 2, dot png. Okay? Now I have six images, so we're going to rename all six of these images to work with our iPod Touch or iPhone. And that's it guys, we are done renaming and reformatting these images to be used with our iPod Touch or iPhone. Now we can close out of this folder and we are going to SSH into our iPod Touch or iPhone. Uh, I will be using WinSCP since I have Windows. And we want to enable SSH on our device. And we're going to double click. And we are logging in. Once we are logged in via SSH into our iPod Touch or iPhone, we want to go back once into the various folder, and we want to scroll down until we see the folder that says Stash. And then all we want to do is drag and drop this folder that says Multi Background, which has all the images that we resize, uh, not resize, reformatted and renamed. We want to drag that folder into the folder on our iPod Touch named Themes. Drag and drop, and click Copy. And now we can terminate the SSH client, and we're going to go back onto our iPod Touch or iPhone. And now that I'm back on my iPod Touch, we can open up Winterboard, and that's all we need to do. And we're just going to enable the one that says Multi Background. For some reason, mine was already enabled, but you know, my Winterboard is a little bit screwy right now. And now we're just going to wait for our device to respring. And now we're going to crank up our iPod Touch as my slider text reads. I don't know. I was bored. <laughs> Alright, anyways. So as you can see, I have the uh, red hot image for my first one. And then I have a different image for each one of my pages. These are all 3D. I picked the 3D. So these are some pills. Uh, I think this is supposed to be some 3D ice or something. Some uh, glass balls and like a color swirl. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know there's a couple cons to having these uh, multiple backgrounds. For one, your page dots disappear except for the first page, but I have a theme enabled that completely hides the page dots. But anyways, the page, uh, the multiple page is uh, hide the page dots uh, for all the pages except the first page. Uh, and the other thing is that when you are moving and deleting your application, so if I would hold down the notes application or something, uh, the doc completely disappears, so that is uh, one con for this. Uh, but anyways, I think it's worth it, it looks really good, and if you do want to do anything to the doc, you can always disable the theme, do what you want, and then re-enable the theme. Okay guys? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this has been very long-awaited, I know that, because I've been getting a lot of questions and comments and uh, personal messages and emails all about this. Um, if you did enjoy the video and it worked, please uh, rate this video 5 stars, that really means a lot to me, and as well as subscribe, that also is great. And I want to thank you guys so much for doing those things, and I will see you guys in the next video.